Poppin', what's poppin'? Welcome to the Unveil Reaction. Um, you know, we're back with another reaction. This one is gonna be Orlando Brown. Uh, he recently did an um, interview with, um, I forgot the name of this channel, whatever. But he's always, you know, a guest on here, so we're gonna get into it and see what he's talking about. It should be interesting. You ready? Yep. Let's get into it. <laughs> Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is <All> he right. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, baby? Talk to me, baby. How you been, man? Oh, uh, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Love it. Um, I've been blessed. Highly favored. Can't complain. Man, that's what's up, man. You know, uh, last interview did good. Did numbers went viral. Keep your D take. <sighs> oh yeah. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess you're you're helping me save some lives, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> so, I, man. I asked for. <laughs> How have you been since our last interview? Blessed and highly favored. Uh, out of trouble. Um. A lot of things, man, have been uh been uh, awakening so slowly. I just uh I just been being humble about everything that comes across the table. Anything new going on with you? Any shows, any anything, any updates on anything? <sighs> or anything you could talk about? <laughs> yeah, I better. <laughs> um so the reason why I say I better was because all right. So I walked into the Zeus building and it was amazing the meeting that took place. Okay. So I talked to LJ and I promised him that I would not have this conversation with anybody. And uh I feel like it's like essential that I let certain people know that are waiting, that have been waiting for this for a while. Uh I was offered the Orlando Brown show. Mm. Oh, over at Zeus Network. Congratulations. Uh, I know you've been wanting to do that for a while. Yes, sir. Man, <laughs> man. thank you, bro. Congrats, bro. I know you've been I know you've been working on that. Man. Yes, Since sir. our first interview, I think we talked about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came in here with the script all crying and stuff. Man. Yeah, so uh, but yeah, they offered the Atlanta Brown show. That's and, dope um, for him. I'm very, very oh, happy to oblige. Oh, that's dope, man. I'm happy for you, man. Thank you, sir. That's dope, man. I just can't wait to see it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> man, oh, man. Orlando Brown. Uh oh. Orlando Brown was on the show. Uh oh. Look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's dope, man. Thank you. Well, I thought we would, you know, get right into the biggest thing going on yeah. right now, man. And that is Cat Williams uh, shook the internet, man. Uh, he did this interview with Shannon Sharp, and uh, he said a lot of stuff, man. Well, what was your initial reaction to the interview? Like I told one of my best friends that brought me over here, uh, Millie, uh, my best friend and producer, it's like, what was done to Cat <laughs> to make him do that? There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, now, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business, the personal relationships and all the stuff that I was talking about. So I'm not gonna talk about that, but I will talk about what I've experienced. And what I've experienced is sitting in front of Cat Williams at his own house, $3 million mansion in Malibu. And this man told Tory Hart exactly what Kevin Hart did in order to be where he's at. Now, I don't know if it was Kevin that pissed him off. I don't know who it was that pissed him off. But I do understand that uh, the comedy world is nothing to play with. And since, you know, Richard Pryor left us, God rest his soul, it's more like, you know, everybody's trying to be Richard Pryor, you know, and, and I can't put myself in position to not understand why some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Cat that they should have. Um, I will also say that a lot of people know that he knows 
that he's helped them in a major way. Huge ways. Silently. For no recognition or none of that. It's just being, you know, who he is as a person. And, and uh, when I sat in front of him with Tori Hart that night, uh, when, Rank, when Reno Rankin was still alive, it was more like, Kevin been pissing off a lot of people, you know, comedically. You know what I'm saying? And and I think that instead of trying to bash somebody that knows what they're talking about and bash somebody that has respect in the comedic, the, the, the comedy world, I think that they need to look deeper into why is he letting this information go? Why is this information just now being released? Why, I mean, come on, he's, why does his chain look bigger than any rappers that I've ever seen rap. Why, out of all the comedians, does he still have a $3 million mansion in Malibu? Why, out of every single comedian, does he still get, get, get picked on, but, but still looks like he's getting a check for nothing? just to sit on his couch and everybody else look like, you know, there has been. I'm, I'm just saying like, you know, I okay. <clears throat> let's break that down right quick. So he's seen a lot of stuff. One, you know, they say that, you know, he, he's, he's not mentally there. You know, he's not all the way there. Yeah. They've said that he's right? been on like hardcore drugs and stuff like that. And yeah. He's had a lot of times where he's gotten clean and then off and clean. So I don't yeah. know what stage this so, is So all I know, like we seen, you know, him go through whatever, you know, with the Raven stuff when they ask him, all, you know, what happened between your Raven or whatever. So my thing with him, I don't know if he joking or if he's not, but like he would say things that make sense. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, in this particular case, he's, he's, I don't know what he's yeah. bringing up. It's like, okay. It sounds like he's talking from a reasonable mind at this moment. And, I, and I've seen see. other interviews be, like besides this one mm -hmm. where he's like, he's making sense. And then he would say jokes and he would like, you know, he would just, you know, he won't tell you like directly, but he would say funny stuff and say something like, yo, what is he trying to say? Yeah. So it's like the Kevin Hart thing. He said, he sat down with, um, with Cat Williams and Kevin Williams told him what Kevin Hart did to get in that position. Mm -hmm. In the club Shay Shay interview, he was kind of alluding to that when he mentioned the dress. And, you know, everybody want to be Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor is considered a goat of comedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, why is Cat Williams not in the limelight, but he still look like he's getting money? And, you know, Cat mentioned that he tours, like, he tours more than anybody. Mm -hmm. And we did the math. I think he did, like, 1,900 tours in total in the last, I don't know how many years. Mm -hmm. So obviously it tells you that he's working. He also got special on Netflix. So yeah. he found ways to get money anyway. And he also said he wanted the richest, whatever. He said, don't look at his net worth because he got that on him, which was $2 million when we looked it up. Mm -hmm. So he's seeing a lot of stuff here that's like, all right, like with his personal passport, you know, history about, you know, on his personality, you know, he's been kind of like all over the place. But he's saying things that make sense, especially in this interview. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Let's just see what, what yeah, else, okay. you know. I did agree with a couple of things that was said by Aerie Spears. Mm -hmm. I understand, you know, we do love drama as a nation, as a population of people, the human race, whatever the case may be, blase, blase. Yes, yes. But my main thing is, why are you saying this? And then at the end of your rant, you sound like you're kind of jealous and you're kind of mad. Mm. You sound like you got some things going on that you don't want people to know about. The skeletons in your closet. Skeletons in Cedric's closet. The skeletons in Jamie's closet. The skeletons. skeletons in everybody's closet that cat knows about. <laughs> who pissed them off? <laughs> that's not, and don't just think. That's my question to you. Who pissed them off? Who do you think pissed them off? Well, it, it would seem as if a lot of people pissed them off. No, it was only one person, and they have a clan of people behind them. Hmm. Yeah. It was Kevin. So at the end of the day, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. And 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 it's like you know, Kevin doesn't want to be a dinosaur. He's really a velociraptor. And 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 you know, some people are actually T Rexes. And we have a system to break yeah. in this universe. Now, if I keep going with this posting that everyone's privy to, it's gonna unlock certain systems in the universe that prove that dinosaurs are actually not extinct. 
That's what Cat knows. He knows. Bro, this man is not crazy. Or... I don't know. He lost me. So I want no, him to land so that it's. He already landed. He's he's what does he mean by he's that? referring he's referring that all of this is happening because of Kevin Hart, right? He's the mastermind behind it. It's Kevin Hart want to be a dinosaur, but it's not. He says whatever that name was, and some people are T Rexes, you know, with the small hand, right? <laughs> so he's just saying he's just kind of like referring those people to dinosaur. And he said dinosaur or not extinct. I'm just I guess I'm saying he's saying like cat is the is him. Um, Let me go back a little bit. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think also. Like, wh why Kevin Hart? Because he, like, the same way he was bringing up Kevin Hart in that interview, Cat Williams was also talking heavily about um, Steve Harvey, about the seven. Like, and the I don't clan, even know if the group. I don't, right. And I don't was was Kev, did he even name Kevin as part of the that seven clan that he kept going back and referring to? Yeah, he to? was part of it. Okay. He said they all got the, you know, he referred to the, all of them marrying like the same. Yeah, like, you know, so I don't looking... know. I think he he talked as equally about a lot of other people, so it's hard to just pinpoint and say like, okay, specifically Kevin is the one who's the leader who pissed him off, and so now he's going off and talking about every. No, I think body. he. I think he also he had an issue with Steve Harvey, Cedric with the joke, Ricky Everybody Smiley, that he named, yeah. and Kevin Hart in the past. So I'm just because when he says seven people, yeah, and you know what I'm saying what Orlando just said now is that. One person pissed him off, so he's blowing everybody's spot up, which is what I'm saying. I don't necessarily. He said they're a clan, they're in cahoots together, but Kevin Hart is the leader of it because that's okay. what he said. They're a clan. He said, you know, because you already know that, history. Yeah, uh. that that's what I'm questioning. Is that well, not questioning? But him, look, is his point of view is that Kevin Hart is a clan uh, leader. In Cat Williams' Ke interview, he didn't refer to Kevin Hart as the clan leader at all. If anything, yeah. he mentioned other people's names a lot more. And then... Kind he of me he mentioned Kevin a lot. Yeah. With the dress yes. and all of that. But at the end of the day, he's the biggest name. So he's going to be viewed as the most important out of all of them. Because he's the biggest. That's what Cat knows. He knows the inner workings of how people turned into huge comedians. Mm -hmm. And I guess you he know, says Kevin, Kevin is an industry plant. No, man. I mean, you know, um, Kevin is a dinosaur, and I, I <laughs> and I, and I can't, you know, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. You know, he's Frankie Lyman, and you know, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, why do birds sing so gay? You know that. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, I yeah. think I don't know the song. Maybe some of the to... biggest uh, <laughs> news from this interview was when he said he turned down fifty million four times no, to protect his integrity no, and his virgin hole. No, he didn't. He did that. He did that to say that Kevin Hart took fifty million to unversion his hole. Can you explain a little bit? No, I just told you what <laughs> happened with that. So, so you don't believe? He said, "No, I just told Kat, you." When he says that he turned down fifty million for no, times. I believe that was a, a a punch at what he did, what Kevin Hart did for that movie Get Hard. He showed y'all what he did. He sucked <laughs> Will Ferrell's <laughs> to get hard. what movie? Get Hard. He did a movie with Will Ferrell called Get Hard. Did you watch it? Yeah, I don't remember that part. I think it's like them going to jail or something. I watched it a long time ago, but they did a movie with Will Ferrell called Get Hard. Okay. Which sound very pausey, but okay. hard. hard. Oh. Now he's high. Now he's acting all hard. <laughs> Every picture he just short. Oh, uh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> all that. It's the same thing, man. You know, it, I don't put myself in any kind of position to think that somebody is good when they have four people writing their jokes. Mm. Kevin Hart has a team of people that write his jokes. Kevin Hart writes some jokes, yes, but that's not the real Kevin that you, I come here telling you all the time who's the realist and who's not. Kevin, I told you when I first came here, bro, Kevin Hart is not that tall. <laughs> Kevin Hart is not that tall. 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart. So if we're gonna make sense of Make sense of some 50 Tyson 
Okay, right now what he's doing, he's going into like a, a troll mode. Mm -hmm. He's trolling now. Yeah. Yeah, taking shock value. Is the real Kevin Hart. So all that that Kevin got right now, acting like Kevin is Kevin, all that, all that, the house is, all that, that man was raped, robbed, and belittled. They are raping and pillaging every single thing on this earth. That's not Kevin Hart. The is what you call him, right? Yeah. That's the real Kevin Hart. So before somebody put somebody in position to call them a call them crazy, call them stupid, and dismiss them. Blur out. They need to understand what they look at before they open their mother mouth. I know 50 Tyson personally. I know the Beatles personally. I just left the studio. I can't put myself in anybody's position for them. I can put myself in my own position, but I'm not going to put myself in my own position to act like these are not the people that I say they are. A facelift don't change. And that's what some people got to understand about this life. 50 Tyson didn't deserve that. Deion Sanders didn't deserve that. Sammy Davis Jr. didn't deserve his legs to get taken. Diddy don't deserve hat. If you mother really knew about what Illuminati is. It's not about Illuminati, bro. Illuminati is the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let him finish. Keep playing. That still play. live today. That's Illuminati. The devil always want to take something and make it his. Illuminati is mine. The 12 disciples of Christ that still live to this day that act as, as, as angels that, that help people that do the right thing righteously, that test people when they ask God for certain things. And then they get, they get tested so much that they don't, even want to, they don't even want the gift no more. This is what I'm saying, bro. You can't put people in position to answer questions that actually know who these people are. 50 Tyson was, was, was called all kinds of names and they acted like he was nobody. <laughs> Lo and behold, do you know who that man is that you call him mother? He got a whole family. He got kids. He got that's Kevin Hart. <laughs> and I refuse to let y'all tear him down. Yeah, that all Cat is doing is the same thing his grandson is trying to do. So 50 Tyson, I remember, I think it was like 2012, 13. I think this is around the time Kevin Hart was like. Being Kevin Hart, so Fifty Tyson went and did a uh, video. It's like he's like mentally, you know, ill. So like he do, he was making sure like I'm Fifty Tyson, I'm Fifty Tyson, swank. Uh, like he used to do funny videos, mm. right? And then at the time he was blowing up on the internet, and everybody used to talk about him. And then he went viral on the internet, and then people were doing a Fifty Tyson challenge. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart was one of the guys that did it. He, Fifty Tyson was like, yesterday I was 13 years old. Today I was 14. Wait, I think I'm 17 though. And then Kevin Hart did the same video, right? Mocking him and just, you know, doing the uh what you might call it, the 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 challenge, right? Okay. So at that time, everybody, whenever you type in 50 Tyson, mm -hmm. like you know, Kevin Hart will come out. This is 50 Tyson. Okay, you know? yeah, yeah. And then right, and then Kevin Hart will come up. So basically, he's saying, like, why y'all call him a uh the R word, like yeah. whatever that's he got kids right now. He's trolling. And also trying to make sense out of like what is being asked. Yeah. And um, so at least when you be like, okay, he's crazy, we ain't gonna take him serious. Yeah. But it's still a message behind it, I feel. Yeah. So and then the Illuminati is the 12 disciple that have nothing to do. Maybe he's just saying there's the power that be. Oh, yeah. the devil try to control everything. Ooh, Deion Sander, you know, he, he lost his leg, like his toes, like three toes got amputated because he had like blood clot, if I'm not Ooh. mistaken. Okay. So he was like, that's Sammy Davis. Got his leg taken, but he's talking about the like he's just saying a whole bunch of random yeah. stuff. Okay. So, and he says he's the Illuminati. So obviously he's trolling. Um, yeah. Put everything into position to where everybody understands that these aliens ain't the people that you think they are. <laughs> these aliens. <laughs> they are raping, robbing, and pillaging everything that has God in it. <laughs> everything that has God in it. Everything else. Why does not 
America look like Dubai and Germany? And why doesn't America look like Russia and Persia? And where the fuck is the money going? Mm -hmm. Every single mayor needs to figure out what the fuck they want to do before I. Wait. There should be grapes, turnips, vegetables, everything on the streets every day for the homeless to eat. You're making us pay for water, you son of a... That's a fact. You're making us pay for grapes, <laughs> apples, <laughs> things that God gave us for free. Huh? Yo, that's funny. <laughs> you will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> We deserve free everything. At least if you're not going to give us reparations by money, give us reparations in fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you owe us over $1.5 million. These subsidy checks are... <laughs> so we are the hoes. And the, the government is our pimp. So since we're not getting mad about them taking that percentage, okay, for taking care of the American people, okay, let's take that billion dollars and give them $2,500 and they should be happy with that because we take care of them. If you took care of us, we'd have free carrots. What's <laughs> my... This ain't no mother game. Y'all owe us money. Mm. That's why you killed me as Martin Luther King, because I was coming to get our check. And that what I said in my life when I was when I was on pulpit. That's what I said. I said I'm coming to get our check. And that was it. I got shot on the balcony. That's what happened. Because I was trying, trying to get this check for these Stay people. away from drugs. Yeah. Hey. Martin Luther King, he's everybody an actor though. You know he's an actor. Yeah, but in he, general. He, stay away from drugs. He might not be on drugs. Maybe he's not on drugs. Maybe it's he's they possessed. kill me and Martin Luther King on a balcony because I was coming to get my checks, you know. He's using a lot of metaphors and trolling, but I don't he could it, that could have been the case. I don't know what it is, but it, it's 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 confusing. Yeah. Like, you said, it's like there's definitely when he gets back to like saying sensible things, there's definitely sensible things, but then sometimes I think like he tro he, like there's on a, purpose there's a trolling on purpose aspect and he's also an actor so like yeah. it's like you know he knows yeah. he's coming to do an interview, interview and he knows he wants the interview to blow up yeah, that's exa my opinion exactly like, and so let me do some like the world has already labeled him as yeah. a specific like oh here goes Orlando Brown again yeah. we know he's gonna kind of go he off the rails going, I think he, so, he really probably maybe dealt with drugs or was going through stuff oh then, in the past he definitely he's, yeah. he's I've seen like. I don't know what it was, you know. So it could have been a mental break. I, I didn't do too much yeah. research, but could I'm saying that. But definitely drugs. I've seen videos of him like going through. Um, they were talking about his drug and like. Yeah, know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. Like, I didn't do enough research. Yeah. On him. Probably, but I think, like you say, he's a good actor. So he probably you know, whenever he get on on, on Cam Capone, mm -hmm. this he always make a viral moment. So yeah. he knows. So he knew. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna have three million dollars and some land. Whether you're black, white, Indian, Hispanic, gray, or tan. I don't give a f man. That's what we were trying to do, you know, Kennedy and I, anyway. So it puts me in a position to make sure that people, you know, want to go to hell when they make these kind of decisions. You know, like they're making. That's why Cat Williams is doing what he's doing. How do you feel about him saying that Martin tried to put him in his first dress? I can't say that Martin tried to put him in his first dress, and he can't say that either. He's not in a position to tell a lie. He's in a position to tell the truth. The man that's talking is Martin Lawrence. <laughs> They're listening to Martin Lawrence. You, With Cat Williams' feel, face on. You feel like Hollywood has, has got like a thing where they're trying to put black men in dresses. No, they're forcing people to not be able to be themselves. But I'm recognizing all of them, and that's a 
can't lie. That wasn't Cat Williams. That was Martin Lawrence. <laughs> so that was Martin Lawrence that really did the interview. It's called a facelift, baby. So, we, and, we've and, been doing facelifts since World War One. And Martin Lawrence accused himself or, or of putting himself in a dress. Basically, he 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 basically vindicated himself of something that he's he's been it bothered him that he put on dress on. What about the stealing jokes thing? Um, I'm not in that world. So out of respect for, for joke telling, I'm just not in that world and I can't do that. What about him saying that him and Ludacris were invited to a Illuminati thing and that's how Ludacris got the fast Illuminati is my family. Show. Stop negatively using my family's name <laughs> in vain. You know, that is, you're devalue, you're, 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 you're devaluing the Illuminati. Mm. And it angers me because I created it. <laughs> you created the Illuminati. If I'm Jesus, I would think I did. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, tell us about it a little bit then. Well, not my place to. You guys know exactly. I mean, well, I'll give you this. It's like Diddy. You know Diddy? Diddy. My, yeah. One of my best friends. Okay. Right? Okay. So <laughs> when you want to be a Kappa <laughs> and you get hazed, didn't you want to be a Kappa? You wanted to be a Kappa, right? I want to be a Kappa. No, I'm just saying. To the person that wanted to be a Kappa. Oh, okay, okay. You want to be a Kappa. You want to be Alpha. Whatever the fuck it is. Okay. Alpha. We're going to haze you and haze you and haze you until you are a Kappa. That's what happened. He's a great actor. People sold their souls to Diddy. <laughs> and then they're mad now because the hazing process was a little bit rougher than they thought. Mm. You can't the king. Mm. Why do you think I love Diddy so much? You're not gonna dethrone this man because he know how to get you there. Mm. By way of hazing you, I, they call it. I call it haze. <laughs> and we're gonna still do this. We're we're gonna still do this. It, it, it's not gonna stop. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Take that. It's still going to happen. The got three million and we're still waking up. And you doing a diddy bop. <laughs> In the morning, drinking cognac, screaming, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> that man sound like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't stop. And it can't stop. And it's not going to stop. It's diddy song. Won't it's stop. Because you got stop. three million, you changed them. Take care of what you need to take care of. You're glad that you got away with three million. Be happy. No, don't you stop me. Be happy you got away with three million. I don't give a f what you told the cameras. You wanted to be Illuminati. You wanted the big cars and you wanted to get, you wanted to get pimped for it. Mm -hmm. So don't blame him for giving you what you asked for. Cause he's still going to be Diddy at the end of the day. It's called hazing. So he's talking about Cassie right now. He's talking about what? Cassie. Oh, okay. Remember like the, the lawsuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't go to, I think he he, he only, they, they settled. She, yeah. she asked for 30 million. So like, to me, that's kind of like funny. It's like, if you're, are you going to put him, put his business out there because you were hurt? Because he, you say that he did things to you that you wasn't, you didn't give him consent to do and you felt like you were abused too. And then you go out and, you know, ask for money. So it was like a money thing the whole time or was it like something serious? So that's what it's kind of alluding to. Well, it's all serious at my point of view. Depending um, on whatever you decide to do and settle and treat and there are a ton of people that get sexually assaulted and never even open their mouth about it and go throughout the day and, and you know, in, in so. But I think, when you want to see that, if somebody did something to you, when you want to see them in jail? People, people handle it differently. There's people that do it that there's like there's people that have experienced that, that their person is there living freely, happily every day. Mm -hmm. There's people that have done that where she then got money out of him and he's forced to pay and deal with public humiliation. And there's people that have done that, that have tried to then pursue uh, him going to prison or whatever. People do it for people like people do it and get away and not have to deal with any kind of consequences. So no, I understand that. But like if, if I feel like if, to me, because there's people out there that are actually going through, like you said, right? That they, mm -hmm. they they don't get no justice for it. And I feel like now that like you're coming, you you pursue them for money. 
like it was civil, like it, you went for the money. Yeah. And I don't know much about the case to know whether or not there was an ability to for it to go uh yeah, it criminal is. or not. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if there if if there the likelihood of it winning would have been less or more. I don't know that much detail. But that don't that don't I mean Bill Cosby things happened 40 years, 50 years like ago, right? But he still went to jail for that. He did, but I'm not a there's people that there the evidence is right here in front of them and somehow because of the case and everything around it. They end up like same thing with the, this the, one. They end up losing the case, and and it doesn't. What I'm go saying, anywhere. he she went in for the money. She didn't go in to like, yo, I want to put you in jail. She went in for the money. That's what my the case point is. is. I don't know if she's had conversations with like her attorneys and then decided that this. No, she the didn't. Best. I don't. We don't even have. She, no, she didn't. Well, because I don't know. I, I know that for a fact. She didn't. She went for the money. Okay. She asked for thirty million right on the spot. That's the first thing that came out. Come on now. If Bill Cosby went to did something 40, 50 years ago, and then with, with her case, multiple people came out, close people, bodyguards that were there that did he abused her, that they saw it, and people coming out and actually saying it. And then she coming out to, to she went straight for the money. That's kind of hard for me to respect. But let's move on. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with your life and trying to take down that you have no kind of mind or even no kind of heart to build. Revolt, that's bad boy. Shut shut your ass up and stop trying to fuck up our money you got three million dollars shut the fuck up you know what this is you got down ten toes shut the fuck up one thing he said about diddy was that diddy wants to party but you gotta tell him no oh yeah well you do gotta tell him no <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell him no <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta tell him no you gotta tell diddy no everybody knows you gotta tell him no because if you don't tell him no he's gonna put you in a situation where you gonna have to say yes or no again so just say no just say no just say no because you know the consequences that's what i'm saying she said yes that's what i mean she knew the consequences she said yes and the next thing you know she covered up in the mother blanket and he said come on baby it's 100 degrees outside and, and you got a mother blanket on let's go outside and run on the beach <laughs> i was like this is horrible yeah don't you got to be careful what you sell yourself for bro or what you think you're selling yourself for you know what i mean like you mm -hmm. want to get ahead ain't nobody don't nobody wants you to get ahead you know what i mean we're gonna make it hard for you you know what i'm saying like they made it hard for me in my hazing ways i'm not they complaining and saying people did this and did that. They did it, but do I really want to see them in jail? No, I was being hazed. Mm. I'm being hazed. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm all right. So Funny like, games with my family. It's what been, it is. You feel like Cassie was just being hazed? I feel like she knew she was going to be hazed before it happened. Don't put yourself in a position to where you want you want cars and this and that. She got $3 million, didn't she? She wanted something. 30. She wanted something. Sad. I keep trying to give the three. Well, she sued She sued for 30, and they settled for we don't know how much. All right, yeah, well. He immediately settled the next day. Yeah, bro, because nobody got time for that. You knew what it was. Now, if it was a big deal, they would have did the case, the whole trial, like OJ. It's like, you knew you got hazed. <laughs> like. Take your money, man. You you trying to ruin our now. <laughs> like, dude, you like you'll never be. No, man, that's not cool, man. You know, you you can't, you got you got dirty money, you got faith Evans, Biggie Smalls, you got so much stuff coming from that umbrella, man. You know, and some people be really, you know, you know, Cassie is really Andre Harrell. And Andre Harrell has been hating on Diddy for a long time. <laughs> Andre Harrell kicked him off of the record. Label. Oh, so now it's making sense? <laughs> yeah, I see exactly what he's doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, <stop. laughs> you feel me? So it's just like, you know, put yourself in position. If you want to be recognized, be recognized and take that full recognition for being the man and the woman that you are. Don't play like you want when you get caught. Oh, I'm a mother. I know. You, we might get canceled for this one. Oh, no, no. you. Yeah. I'm still Jesus. You'll be all right. <laughs> 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 you, 
you'll be okay. You got Farrakhan behind you and Khadija's right here. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> you'll be okay. It, the hazing probably went a little extreme, is what you're saying. Yes. But she wanted to be Beyonce. <laughs> and you're still not Beyonce. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, man. Some people just don't understand what it is they put themselves into. You know, um, we are a terror. We are real. <laughs> we are very real. And what, and what people don't understand is when you say yes, then a couple of my brothers that are allowed to do what they do, they probably do it very good. And you're not going to like that. And then all of a sudden, because you said, yeah, you're stuck there until it's over, you know. And then when you get all that money and shit on the other side, you don't even want it no more. Do you think Diddy will be canceled? <laughs> Diddy can never be canceled. Never. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I mean, I, I think that, you know, um, between um, Lemmy and LJ talking to Diddy about the Orlando Brown show and then them talking about it, they wanted to do it at Revolt first and then, then all, like, there's no way, there's no way he could be canceled. He's putting in too much work. You know, he didn't, he, he understood I didn't want to be hazed. <laughs> he understood a lot of people didn't want to be hazed. Some people make that choice, bro. That's all I'm saying. Did you ever get invited to the Diddy party? Mm, one Diddy party, uh, but I didn't go. I didn't was, go? Nah, I, I didn't go. I was invited by Justin. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause so I was cool, bro. Like I, the Diddy parties that I go to was, well, well, the Diddy parties that I was allowed to go to was the, the Justin thing. And it was like, I didn't, I didn't want to go. I was with all my bros and, and it was fun, but I did hear about it though. I heard somebody was on a, on a, uh, a couch and he was jumping on the couch and Diddy walked in and was like, yo, who the f is this? Get this out of here. He disappeared and he was screaming outside like, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please let me back. <laughs> please let me back in, I won't get on the couch. That's what I, I you know. Well, 50 Cent's been going off on Diddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he has. He, he wants to make a movie called Surviving P. Diddy. Diddy, do it or not? <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard for... Um, 50 Cent to do that when he's Halle Berry. And... <laughs> you mean Halle Berry talking about Diddy? Like, yeah, I mean, that's how he became 50 Cent was Diddy as Halle Berry. <laughs> so how can you try to act like you, you know, I don't give a fuck about none of these as far as Hurt, harming me or none of that, you know. My dad's Lucifer, my mom's Satan. Okay. I don't care. All I can tell you is, at the end of the day, Holly Berry can't be saying too much about Kerry Washington. Okay, it's just like you can't put that in. You can't. No, Holly Berry is not doing what Kerry Washington is doing right now. So Fifty Cent can't talk about Diddy at all. Okay, Diddy's Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington is Diddy, and Halle Berry is Fifty Cent, and Fifty Cent is Halle Berry, and 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 and, and, and their lives, and in their men world lives, and you know king world lives type of deal. It's like you have to understand. People just like to pick at people that got more money than them. Now, if you see Diddy and you look at Fifty Cent's money together, based off of. The bad boy branch in Biggie alone, Diddy's richer. 50 sit your down and, and keep doing power and, and try to get that, that bag up a little bit more. Well, they're saying this is because Diddy was seen hooking up with 50 Cent's baby's mom. 50 Cent is his baby mama. Okay. There we go. This always want to troll somebody, bro. Come at me with it. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to play with Orlando. You don't want to play with Jesus, do you? <laughs> you want to play with Jesus. <laughs> oh, let's not play with Jesus. You don't want to play with me, boy. Playing games, but, you know, that's what they do, man. Play games. Dr. Umar Johnson recently went viral. Who is that? <laughs> you don't know who Dr. Umar Johnson is? Is that? It, it sounds like Conrad Murray to me. <laughs> 
Sounds like Conrad Murray. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like Conrad Murray. Well, he made a controversial statement saying that Eminem could not be a goat in hip hop because he is white. Eminem is not a goat. He's a great. There's a difference. A goat is an actual animal. <laughs> a goat is killed in sacrifice. A goat is something not to be. A, a great is something to be. Greatest of all time is what a goat is. Just leave it alone at great. Goat? Ain't nobody trying to be no mother goat. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't know being a goat was something to be a bad. <laughs> Nah. I want to be a goat. I'm gonna turn myself into a goat. It's simple with vaginas. You know what a vagina is, Cam Capone? A vagina is a vagina with an R. It doesn't make the vagina better or better. <laughs> it's one thing. A vagina. The vagina. Um, it's more royal than the vagina. It's just, it just has the R at the, the the R makes it royal. Vagina. Say it. Say vagina. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking. Vagina. Give me some of that vagina. Ah, uh, he is okay, so, so <laughs> back to the Eminem thing, Lies. man. <laughs> What do you think about that, man? Is he is he right? Is he wrong? You know, how do you feel? Eminem about that? is not wrong, and Eminem is always right. Okay. He said, okay. Forget it. Move forward. <laughs> that hat is nice, though. He's the king, bro. I'm not gonna. I did. I've seen you post about Eminem before. That's why I'm asking you, bro. I've heard, is... I've heard you give a lot, a lot bro, of really I... good things about. Say a lot bro, of good I just, I just recorded a song with the. I just went to the Beatles. Uh, to the studio with the Beatles, bro, and I, I honestly was in the studio with the Beatles, and I... <laughs> bro, I said, uh, they want my autograph. I make your daughter laugh. I stop through, sign my name, sign my name on the starter cap. It's like you know, I, I, I love Eminem. You know what I mean? Everybody know I love Eminem. He literally taught me how to rap. You know, uh, uh I just my thing about Eminem is. They just need to respect him. I always say that. They need to have more respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, they just need to have more respect. I feel respect. like Eminem don't get the respect he deserves. I feel like they play with him. Mm. I feel like he got the respect already from the world. But the real, but the, but the real people that's on the inside and the, the mu some musical people, Method Man, a couple people, they just with him just to with him. Just to be disrespectful. Just to make him feel like he has to fight for that he ain't got to fight for. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're sensitive on the inside about who you are because of what you've been through, you're going to... Some people know how to press them buttons. There's some people out there, you call them weak. You know what I'm saying? They're going to cry this, that. Some people, you call them ugly. They're going to tear up. This. Some, some situations and some scenarios, bro, like some people actually know deeper than what Eminem told us. And they use that against them, man. They use that kind of stuff against people. You know what I mean? And and I'm not saying he's broken from it. I'm just saying he's the king, bro. And, and, and you know, these kind of questions only bring um, no, 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 dirt cinq, cinq minutes. to the kingdom. Grounds. It's like, why are we trying to dethrone Eminem all the time? It's like, we're going to keep asking Questions about a person that intellectually killed everybody verbally on wax? Like, no, we're not going to keep doing that. We're not going to keep on trying to take a man's title uh, that's already there. Can't do that. It's disrespectful. He's one of my favorite rappers. I'm like, what the? Well, you got a song with Crip Mac. Yeah, I did. And I was like, I was like, I'm not doing this because this is on parole. And 
I love him, but I'm not trying to perpetuate more of the same. I'm an actor. I'm not a gangbanger. Get off parole. We can do a song. <laughs> <laughs> he got arrested. Yeah, sure did. Which is why I said, get off parole. We can do a song. No disrespect, but people don't want to own up to their... I told Hitler to his face. I said, hey, you know, uh, you're not going to blow up my world because you <laughs> don't want to own up to the consequences of your matches. You're not going to blow my world up. Put me in jail. Kill me. Do this. Do that. that. If you're going to blow my world up, the world that was given to Jesus, and blow this world up that my father gave me, right? And I'm humble about being in it. I'm crawling up slowly. Now that I've awakened my eyes and I realize, damn, I'm really Simba. I could be turned into an animal. I could be killed. Man. You know, this is this is deep. And people don't realize it. And it's like, oh, this is really the circle of life. You know, that's where I'm at with a lot of um of raindrops. You know, these raindrops, they get heavy, baby. They get really heavy. Based off of the fact that, you know, um, I'm not a predominantly black person. I'm half white. Oh, my God. My mother was. Oh, you know, my God. It's a lot of things that people don't understand about Jesus. You know, about how I was kidnapped along with my mother and my father in the tabernacle. Stolen by the king of Persia, <laughs> you know, and the other two kings, you know, it's just, it's a lot of things that go on with why people act how they act in Eminem and all these names you hear, but kings are kings in their own birthrights and kings are, are kings in their own um, way. But to have, you know, uh, people like Eminem, people like uh, Jay-Z, you know, um, you know, uh, I have a problem with RuPaul parading around as Jay-Z. Know what the, the facelift is. You let that man make that much money and that wasn't even the real Jay-Z? I'm not mad at Farrakhan. I'm not mad at Farrakhan. But tell people that you're RuPaul. Stop misleading people and standing on the pulpit like you're this big leader when you know what you're really doing out here. The hell? Keep it 1,000, bro. So Jay-Z's not being real with people. Nah, man. But, uh, but, is, but is cool. But is cool. That's... But is all right. Who's butter? Solange. <laughs> Solange, Beyonce, sister. Oh my gosh. He's just all over the place. He just all over the place. A whole bunch of nonsense. I, I don't know. Like I need to take a nap after watching. Listen, this right now it's just pure entertainment now. Yeah. It, you know. I'm, yeah. yeah. Solange's Jay Z. You know. So you gotta realize some people just don't look at things until you really look at things, and you be like, damn. But I'm only looking at what I'm allowed to see because that's what they're showing us, bro. I'm not awesome. I'm not great. I'm Jesus though. But I <laughs> but I ain't great. I ain't no no this I don't that don't make me better. I'm a person just like Satan is Satan, he's here. Just like Lucifer's Lucifer, he's here. Everybody's here. That's why I'm able to say my name. You know, I'm here too, just like they're here. You know, but at the same time, it's just you got to make sense of this, bro. And I've been making sense of it, man. People are really disrespectful. People are just really disrespectful, man. And I, I just, to end on Eminem, bro, I just feel like they just need to leave him alone. Mm. Okay. All that. You brought up Eminem and all that shit came out. There's a... <laughs> God damn. Well, uh, Shaq was spotted on a date with Brittany Renner. Okay. Uh, you mean uh, Shaq is Tony like, Muhammad, Shaquille O'Neal, Tony Muhammad with with uh, Khadija? That was wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. You know, only because Farrakhan is is um, 
a very kind person. And they put him into certain positions to where, like, yo, man, let's let, let's let, you know, let's let you play with certain things and do certain things. And in and, and uh they've allowed him to do a lot, but at the same time, he still is a respected and a, you know, um, I would say well-managed man. He has a lot of people behind him that groom him, you know, and protect him. But just like I know the real Kanye, just like I know the real Diddy, you know, that whole situation with Lucifer in the body of Farrakhan, I just can't play with. You know. Who's the real Kanye? Hmm. Kadeem Hardison? Who? And what would you what would you say he's like? Like Kanye. Kadeem, what, what, Kadeem Hardis. Look at his teeth, bro. What, look are they, what are they like when they're not on camera? You gotta look at shit. Look at Dwayne on. <laughs> I saw, you know, is is some people, man, you know, their spirits are in how they act. You know, um, in these shows, you know, Different World and all that stuff. Watch a Different World and you'll know how Kanye is. You know? Watch a Different I'm guessing the name he just said, Kadeen Henderson is from a show called Different World. Maybe. Yeah, Different World is a show. I know that. But Kadeen, I think Kadeen is a is a character from there. So he said, that's Kanye. I think you're always making reference to something. But World, that's how, that's how he is as a person. Dwayne Wayne. <laughs> yeah. Dwayne Wayne is Kanye. From that, different that, That's how it is, man. You got to watch people, man. Like Pac said, you got to watch people. Watch people. If you love them, you'll remember them and you'll see them. Cardi B <laughs> has been saying she's going to divorce Offset. And this is over Blueface sending text messages between Offset and Krishan. And allegedly they hooked up. Mm. And uh, so Cardi B isn't happy about this, and uh, she's she says she's gonna divorce him. You mean Mace? <laughs> Don't get mad at me. <laughs> you mean Mace? Yeah, that's cool. What, what's your reaction to that? To Cardi B being Mace? To to her leaving Offset. Offset didn't want to. Mace no more. <laughs> I saw kind of and Don't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a horse. Yeah, I'm tired of this horse. <laughs> I'm tired of this. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you feel about Blueface yeah, sending more minutes. We'll wrap it up. Cardi B snapshots of their text messages? Kind of. What you mean Raven? Raven in oh okay. Well, I feel like Raven is okay as Blueface. I think that's where she needs to stay so she don't have to go back to that. So Raven is the future I can see. So mysterious to me. Yeah. Yep, that's she. Blue babe. Oh, that's where she's been. <laughs> uh. He's like, damn, I tried. Yeah, no, Raven's blue face now. That's, that's a wrap. We'll get that show back. <laughs> Out of the park. <laughs> I seen a headline. The Raven makes people sign NDAs to be in a relationship with her now. <laughs> <laughs> non disclosure agreement is what that is, right? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Oh, well. Uh, I mean, well, some people don't deserve to be um, that close to people, and she's probably been hurt enough to know that she don't want to be in a position to where she can be hurt again, and she f***ed up on marrying Orlando Brown, and I'm very happy with my wife and my life now, and she knew she could have had a bump, man. You know, she wouldn't have to be stuck with Disney and all that for the rest of her life. And now she had to turn into blue face. And that's not working because her doesn't want to be her because her 
my son Frankie. And I can't put myself in position to lose my son to him like that. Do you think it's fair to ask people to be in an NDA during the relationship? Look, man, Raven has a now. That's it. Raven can stick her in anybody she chooses. If I was Cat Williams and I told you that Raven had a, I would tell you that Cat would have this in her mouth because it would be Cat Williams. <laughs> this man is crazy. Oh my Leave God. it alone. The got a now. You have to finesse the. <laughs> can you be doing all like nonsense. that? Nonsense. Mm. Uh. I was. I just wish Raven would have kept a. Kind of thing. We wouldn't have to be going through this. <laughs> <laughs> right. She didn't have to do all the extra. Oh God. I mean, I knew something was coming after the three breast reductions, but I still love her, even though she blue face. Well, last time we talked, you went viral for your take on the Keefe D. Getting arrested for Tupac's murder. I said he can't be Situation. arrested. They let him go, didn't they? No, he's in jail. He's finding the case. No, he's not. Yeah, no, Keefe D's arrested. He's finding the case. No, he's not. <laughs> he is <laughs> right here. <laughs> no, round. No, I'm just, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, you know, I just feel like, you know, um, when I seen that they, I, I did see that they said uh, he will be walking free or something like that from the case. I did see that. And and um, okay, we're gonna stop it here. Um, we just did the part one for the Orlando Brown. Yeah. On Cam Capone. I wonder if I wonder if he was always like this, even back at like Raven. But then, like, you know, especially as a Disney Channel child, like, you just kind of do your acting and then that's kind of it. Or if this is something that was triggered due to, like, hard drugs or this is something that's, like, a mental, um, mental, you know, kind of, uh, I, I think they said he had, like, a, a what is it called? Mm -hmm. Like a breakdown <laughs> or something like that at some point. I don't know if it was drug related. I don't know if it was not drug related, but. Um, yeah, he's, I mean, the, and then also uh, the, the, he's also probably like, there's also like a, an added on troll to it, which makes it like, you know, well, I don't, I don't know much about his yeah. like, you know, his like drug situation, but I just know I've been seeing him on the, like on the news in the past, like, you know, just acting crazy or whatever. But like he, I know like now recently, like the last two years, he just get on Kim Capone and just troll a lot and then like and i seen him on on another um uh interview vlad right no not vlad it was another one oh. he didn't do none of this trolling yeah. it seemed like a completely different person and i think he was getting into his life and a whole bunch of stuff or whatever but so he just yeah. turned it on and turned it off when he wants to but it, i don't you know i don't want to say like yeah. you know but at the end of the day it was entertaining yeah it was good we're gonna finish we're gonna do second uh the second Make part sure you guys check out everything in the description down below so subscribe check out all the other videos all the other action let us know your thoughts as well like do you think he's playing a role and he's just doing it to be funny yeah, or do you know. think he's under the influence of drugs or do you think you know there's something else that's wrong let us know your thoughts and um if there's more orlando brown videos you guys want us to react to just let us know and if there's more videos that you guys want us to react to let us know that too and just you know like she say Follow us. Stay tuned. We got more reaction coming. We out. Bye. Bye.